Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Thanks for tuning in. So today I'm doing a collaboration with Clueless Mama D. If you don't know who she is, a link to her channel will be in the description box below. She came up with a challenge, a 15 minute meal challenge to see who could create a meal in 15 minutes or less. So I accepted her challenge. If you'd like to see if I was successful in meeting the challenge, please stay tuned. And if you're interested in any of the meals created by any of the other participants, the playlist is linked below as well. So let's head on over to the kitchen and see about this meal. I started out by preheating the oven to 400 degrees. I'll be cooking asparagus in there. Once the oven reached 400 degrees, I set my timer for 15 minutes. I'm making sweet potatoes too. These cook in the microwave in six to eight minutes, but I'm putting all three in at the same time, so I'm setting it for 12 minutes. Normally, I don't use the microwave to actually cook anything, but in this challenge, I had to. We usually just use it to reheat. And as you can see, I'll be preparing fish to go along with the asparagus and the sweet potatoes. I'll be frying it right in that skillet. So I got started with the asparagus. I'm gonna rinse this off and get it ready to go into the oven. Just getting those old stems off the bottom, sliding them off the cutting board. And I have to keep stopping to get paper towels and dry my hands. I think that's eating into my time. But anyway, I'm lining the bottom of the pan or the tray with a piece of foil. This is clearly optional. I don't know the reason behind it, but I just like to do that. So I'm putting that in there and I'll put the asparagus in and then add the toppings. And I don't want to be messy, so of course I have to stop and clean everything off. Um, the time is going, hello, I don't know why I feel like I'm just moving pretty slow here. But I guess I just assume I have plenty of time, so I have to wipe things down as I go. Here I'm adding olive oil, some sea salt, and a little black pepper. Asparagus is one of many vegetables that can be roasted in the same way just by using olive oil, salt, and pepper. And then I did add a little sprinkle of garlic at the end. But you can definitely make a lot of vegetables like this. And then I'm sliding everything around to coat it all over. I think the foil might help with this part, just keeping everything nicely together. I don't know. Next, I'm adding a bit of garlic, and then I'll put this in the oven for about 10 minutes. And now to get started with the fish, I'm getting a little nervous because time is ticking, but I'm, I heated the skillet to about 300 degrees and then I'm putting the olive oil in there. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of butter and some minced garlic. I don't know exactly what I'm doing here, but I'm just waiting for the butter to, and everything to get hot. So I'm probably just straightening up some things on the other counter. Of course, I have to get another paper towel. That's for the garlic. And now I'm gonna get to work rinsing off the fish. Normally I don't like to touch raw 
fish or meats without cooking gloves. But for the sake of time, I could not do all that. And fish, eh, it's kind of, I don't really mind more so than actual chicken or red meat. I do not touch those without gloves. But the fish, I was not too worried about it. And I'm just finding different little things to comment on just so it's not completely silenced with just the music in the background. Sometimes explaining helps the video go a little bit better. So I'm washing my hands here from the fish and 10 minutes left. So we gotta get going. And just combining the butter and the olive oil together, um, everything is heating up very nicely. And now I'm adding the minced garlic as I mentioned earlier. And then my son came in, I don't remember, but I think he was probably asking when everything was gonna be ready. He loves to eat. He was in his minion pajamas as he likes to change into as soon as he gets home from school. And I don't wanna to touch the fish with my hands again, so I am using this little tool. To season the fish, I use a bit of sea salt, black pepper, and a little bit of seasoning salt on this side. I came back in and added a bit of onion powder on this part. And I let this sit for a while. I sped it up just because it cooked the most um, for the fish. And I was upset because I didn't move the fish around in the pan. So it did stick. I think I was so focused on trying to get everything done that I didn't even think about moving the fish. And normally I do a much better job with that. But once I turn it, it does stick to the bottom because I'm letting it sit there and I'm not manipulating it. So I was upset about that. But you'll see it comes together well. And I do have two little ones, so the fish need to be cut for them anyway. So you can see my struggle here. But on the second side, I add a little uh, adobo, and then I'll just let that cook for a few more minutes. And as you can see, the time is almost running out. Got the rack ready for the asparagus to come out of the oven. And just as I'm going over now to get the sweet potatoes out of the microwave, you see the timer has come to an end. But everything is pretty much done. Um, as you can see, I have, um, I stopped the timer here and you'll see it's gonna be 7-11 on the clock. And I give the fish a final flip just so that it can sit here while I get everything else out. But 712 the asparagus is out and in that same 712 the sweet potatoes are ready so technically I pretty much made it with that one minute so now I'm just getting everything onto the plate just so I can show a final shot of the meal all complete I opened up the, the sweet potato and I'm adding the butter and again it's 714 on the clock but everything is done the fish is still sitting in there in the heat but everything is pretty much done being cooked and I'm just putting everything on the plate. And then I add a roll and the meal is complete. Ta-da! <laughs> I call this a success. Again, I think I went over by a minute but a success nonetheless. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.